Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today for the session on Rentalks CPDL. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about why this session came about and I think over lockdown one of the things we felt was that staff hadn't been given as much of an opportunity to share ideas, discuss, you know, and get together really, which is that what they would have done um, otherwise. So we wanted to come up with a CPDL sort of project, if you like, for over the summer term that was going to give them these opportunities to sort of broaden horizons, you know, get some new ideas and be able to get involved in CPD on a range of different levels. So that's what the session um, came about. And as we know, with any type of CPDL, if it's done really well, um, then it leads to benefit in all involved and to school improvement. Now, there's a whole raft of research that's been done on this area, lots of blogs written. And I think the one in particular that sort of linked in with the ideas that I was looking at was Dylan Williams' Leadership for Teaching and Learning. And he describes sort of five principles in relation to CPD. And not all of them are going to be linked directly with this project, um, but certainly the first two are, are sort of work really well. So the first one that he talks about is to do with choice and how leaders should allow teachers to have choice and ownership of their CPD. And I think sometimes um, CPD is allocated and prescriptive and top down, if you like. But sometimes it has to be because there are certain things that happen in schools that you do need everybody to be able to do the CPD on. So things like safeguarding, uh, it could be to do with ethos or to do with a, getting a consistent approach. Um, but so it's, it's important to have that. But I think it's also um, useful to be thinking about choice. Um, just like Dylan Williams speaks about and that idea that it sort of offers teachers um, you know different ways it gets them more sort of gives them more ownership gets gets them to explore ideas more and gives more personalization which is what the red talks are going to do um, he also talks about flexibility and this idea whereby teachers are given the freedom to sort of you know to learn new ideas and then to try and modify them implement them in the classroom um, what I'm hoping is, is that the range of CPD that we're going to have on offer is going to enable that type of flexibility of approach as well. The other three areas that Dylan Williams talks about are linked in with accountability, and that's not something that I'm going to be referencing in this session, because um, in this session I'm focusing on the sort of idea of choice and ownership to do with CPD. So in terms of how our structures have been done before, uh, when we looked at CPD, they're always linked to our whole school priorities, we have external experts come in. So last year, we were really lucky that we had Caroline Bentley Davies come in to do some work with the whole staff on push and challenge. We also had Mike Gershon in twice actually doing work on feedback and assessment for learning. So absolutely um, really want to get more and more experts involved. And, you know, and these points have been designated throughout the year. But I think what does happen sometimes is that there's a sort of an inflexibility sometimes with CPD in terms of things that you can add in when you feel like they're needed throughout the year. So what I wanted to do was to create um, a CPD project, if you like, that enables certain elements to be planned and prioritised, but also other areas of CPD that can be developed uh, when the needs occur. So this is where we get to my REN talk format. Um, homage, of course, to the TED Talks. Um, and these are going to be sort of powerful 10 minute talks um, that are going to be led by a range of people and that allow sort of 15 to 20 minutes of discussion and afterwards and links to the subject. And it was um, Ross Morrison McGill from the Teach Toolkit fame that sort of spoke about this idea that um, CPD needs to be uh, is, is entitled to it. Absolutely. And that it can begin at sort of grassroots level where teachers and leaders can be facilitating opportunities um, for staff to get together and to talk and to share ideas. And what I wanted was to have an element where we've got a powerful talk by somebody that is passionate about subjects and that's done their research and is uh, maybe an expert in that area but also to allow um, an area of debate and discussion and question and answers, which I think is really important part of CPD. So the REN talks will allow for smaller groups, which I'll talk about in a moment, um, but it can cover all sorts of areas. So it's not just to do with teaching and learning pedagogy, which is sort of my area, um, but also it could be to do with looking at ethos, leadership and career development. OK, so here is an example um, of how the programme might look. So as I said, this hasn't we're not up and running yet. This is going to be something that we're doing in the summer term. 
So as you can see, here's two weeks worth of sessions and they, they will have five different um, talks that people can opt into. So it might be that they're looking for something like student voice and how they could incorporate that into their lessons or into their leadership. Or it might be that they have some specific areas of SEN um, needs that your students in their lessons that they want support with, whether that's to do with dyslexia or ADHD. Um, or it could be that they want to do some work on retrieval practice and learning about the forgetting curve. So looking at the work of Daisy Christodoulou and how that is important in relation to retrieval. So the idea is, is that these sessions would also be reduced down so there'd only be maybe about 15 to 20 members of staff in each one, which will then allow for more discussion and debate, which is obviously also part of the, um, the process of this. So looking at the structure um, for our new CPDL, um, so yes, we're still going to have the CPDL on training days, absolutely, but we're also going to enable to have an added CPD happening throughout the year, um, might be based on QA or other things that arise. Um, the sessions are going to be run from all staff, which is going to be great, not just from the top down. Um, research is going to be an important part of it. Um, teachers will be able to opt in to whatever they feel is appropriate for their needs at that time. Um, and no one's going to miss out. So if you're a part time teacher or if you want to be able to access more than just one a week, then all of these sessions are going to be filmed as well, which is going to be great moving forward. So thinking about the future, my foot there, it's about investing in our staff. So, yes, we're going to have a range of CPD on offer even moving forward next year. So we're going to have the calendared events. We'll have the REN talks. We'll have time dedicated as well to make sure that the information that they're learning in those CPD sessions can be linked to their subject specialisms. Um, but the real area that I also want to invest in as we're moving forward is running optional CPD. I think that staff and leaders today are really invested in their own learning. And you can see that from the sort of popularity of research ed. And obviously, we're all here today a part of Educate North Hants because we're interested in investing in our future. So I think it's a really important part of what schools can offer moving forward. So thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day at Educating North Hans. Thank you.